Today I'm gonna make uh, cherries for my Manhattan. So I'm gonna confit them in liqueur. Uh, I'm using fresh, beautiful, sweet cherries, and we're gonna go through the whole process from beginning to end. But the first step is to pit the cherry. I already washed them. We are gonna remove the stem and we are gonna pit them. To do so, we will need, first of all, some gloves. Believe me, cherry are gonna stain your fingers. You definitely wanna protect your hand with some plastic gloves. Um, so, to pit cherry, once again, we're gonna rely on one of the best tools humanity ever came up with. And this is the holy chopstick. So, the process is quite simple. You this time the cherry you're gonna hold it between your finger here and you are gonna simply push the piece out using your chopsticks here we go uh, and it leaves your cherry perfectly intact for your manhattan garnish it takes a little bit getting used to So here I'm gonna add in a jar our cherry pit and this is 250 ml of bourbon. Uh, we're gonna first cook the cherry pit into the bourbon to neutralize any the poison in it, the toxin uh, that they naturally have. And plus it's gonna free some aroma. A stone fruit kernel, stone fruit pits usually have that almond flavor. And we want that a little bit in our homemade cherry liqueur. We do not waste that gorgeous juice. It already looks gorgeous. I'm cooking the cherry pit in bourbon. The technique is called a bain-marie. I don't have any fancy machine, so I'm just using my gas stove with a grid to elevate the jar so it's not in direct contact with the bottom, in contact with the direct heat. And I'm monitoring the temperature to make sure it does not go too high up. Alcohol evaporates at about 75 degrees. Uh, if I have too much evaporation and too much pressure building up in my jar, it might explode. So I'm going to cook it for about 20-30 minutes to neutralize the toxin inside the cherry pit and make sure everything is alright and that bourbon well infused. So it has been about half an hour. It's time for me to take my first, the first step of my infusion out of the Bamari. Here to make things more efficient, I got a bowl full of ice and I'm just going to cool down, chill my bourbon infused with cherry pit in some ice so we can open the container safely. Here we have about 500 grams of cherries. The stem and the pit has been removed. They are perfectly clean and ready to go. Now we're going to build up the liqueur. So for that I have 125 uh, grams of um, golden sugar that we're just going to add with our cherries. To that, we're gonna add 150 ml of water. Always, never forget, a little pinch of salt. Then, I'm gonna put, I would have rather used fresh vanilla, unfortunately, I don't have it. So we're gonna put a few drops of vanilla extract. Uh, to that, I will add one cinnamon stick that I'm just gonna break in half, one star anise, two cloves, 
5 grain of allspice. And finally, I'm lucky to have access to fresh bay leaves from my garden. We're gonna take two uh, leaves and we're just gonna ruffle it a little bit. Same. Up. It feels cold enough. We're gonna open the jar. Mmm, that smells delicious. Remove the cherry pit stem from it. This I save obviously for compost. Add that to our cherries. We're gonna seal the bag. This is meant for serving cooking, it's heat grade and the alcohol is not gonna do anything to it. So we are looking to flush as much air as humanly possible and seal it completely. And now I'm gonna replace into my Bamari and same we're gonna look to cook for about half an hour at the same temperature so about 80 degrees in the bath. But in a vacuum, in a bag like that, it's easy to monitor because it will simply inflate if my temperature is too high. Our cherries have cooked in the bag for about uh, 30 minutes. I've let it cool and now I'm ready to put them into jars. This is not canning per se, but between the sugar, the ABV of the liqueur, this should be quite stable and stay in the fridge for quite a while. Use your best judgment, taste it, smell it, but you shouldn't have any mold, you shouldn't have anything happening to it. It's not able to referment. We are at about 20, above 20 ABV. All right. So I'm just gonna filter it so I can easily split my cherries between my two jars. Beautiful. It smells so good. So the cherry is still whole, it didn't lose its structure, it has been cooked through, the flavor are just incredible. A bit boozy with a hint of spice and really it's a nice comfy cherry. I'm gonna label that, obviously labeling with a date is always good practice, whereas it's at home or in the barn. 